I've got a little friend with me today. Can you say hi? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do our uh, share our morning journaling. So in the morning, I make my cup of tea, and then I like to come to my journal and pull some cards. Um, those wild hearts who find it hard to be in their bodies, I find that shuffling the cards and being with the cards is just bringing me back into the present moment. So today we're using the Kim Cran's Archetypes, Crazy Sexy Love Notes by Chris and the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm not at home today, so um, these are the only decks I've got with me. But we started off with the Lover's card, or the Lover. But what I'm drawn to is the, is the Swan. Because the swan glides effortlessly along the river, along the river, doesn't it? But underneath the water, the little, what are they called? Webbed feet are paddling furiously. This for me is the energy that you're sitting in. This is, represents the energy of survival mode. Now, when we're in survival mode, we're not experiencing the beauty of the world um, you know, like with all of our senses, which as highly sensitives, we um, we are in awe or we can be in a place of awe of what the world presents because we, we get to um, experience the nuances of the world the f in, in full colour. And this is also about stepping into gratitude. Um, you know, like savouring all of life's offerings. So the lover is really the card of the heart, the beloved, the devoted. But in its shadow side, it's obsession and attachment to outcomes and indulgence. So, but this, this one does remind me of being in survival mode. So I don't know what the swan's bringing up for you if you've got your journal out this morning. And then we move into the energy that we need to, to move, well, the energy that we're trying to move into to help us is actually the shadow. The shadow is the unspeakable, the unwelcome, the denied. So what parts of you are you rejecting? Instead of, um, you know, instead of rejecting yourself, get to know and understand those parts if you think of anything but that, then that's when you're touching the shadow. And the shadow re requires us to have patience and compassion. And maybe ask the question, what do you despise about yourself? You know, what do you push away? What fills you with shame? But it's actually facing that. And it asks you to move into the desert. The shadow is asking you to move into the desert, which is the wasteland which is the drought. So this is where we feel disorientated and desperate and we're grasping for meaning and longing and for solid ground. And there's a lack of clarity and perhaps some existential dread. But you must pass through the desert knowing that you will reach water again. And in the desert is where you'll find truths that would otherwise remain hidden. So you need to turn towards it instead of away from it. So turning towards your shadow self instead of rejecting and pushing that away and then the other card that I pulled which which goes really well with that is the mirror the mirror can you see that one so the mirror is the reflection um, it's also an illusion the mirror because the mirror if you know the story of Narc Narcissus that's where the word narcissism comes from. He stirred into the mirror so much that he fell in love with himself. And that's, you know, that, that I th it's a trickster energy. It's like saying, put the phone down, stop with the comparisons, let the mirror stand empty and rest with the inside. So come into the desert. The desert is saying that the, the real you is, there's a lack of nurturing there, isn't there? There's a thirst there's a thirst for something. What is it you need? How are you feeling? Embrace the shadow. Yeah, I like that. Rest with the mirror. Ask us to rest with the one inside. Speak to yourself gently and kindly in the mirror. Become friends with all of yourself. And then I pulled some tarot cards, which just really, really confirm what we're saying. So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. 
So it's like when you're slowing down, you want to speed up. Well, that's what survival mode is. That's what this swan is peddling, paddling, peddling underneath the surface of the water. So when you get the chance to rest and slow down, and if you've watched Mark's, March's energy reading, which is about resting and receiving, when you try to rest and receive and slow down, you speed up again because it kicks you into survival mode. And there is a truth, this is the Ace of Swords, there is a truth that you need to discover, that, that, that energy that cuts through all of that mental clatter, clutter. I'm losing my words today, and gives you the truth, uh, which I think is the shadow. Because what's happening here is, this is the King of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. The King of Pentacles is obsessive focus on the material and on on the um yeah on the material world maybe you're worried about money maybe you're obsessing about a relationship or you're obsessing about a goal but it's something in the material world and that needs to be broken down so the tower moment is when spirit comes in and says um you, you can't keep you can't keep going from rest to survival mode you need to be in this state of deep rest and the part of you the part of you, the child part of you that had to keep doing, doing, doing all the time in order to be loved. So perhaps your love that you received as a child was conditional and it was based on what you did and your achievements. That part of you must die knowing that who you are at your core is completely lovable. And that will bring you back into balance, which is justice. So it'll bring your energy back into balance. And then the Eight of Wands came out with that as well. The Eight of Wands upright is, is showing that things are moving fast. So this is, again, you must slow down. And I'm going to show you this card that came out. It was a new day. So let's just read this together. Let go of what was in order to make room for what's to come. It may be time to release a relationship that's run its course, a job that's lost its luster, or a depleting commitment. The past is over. What's done is done. Acknowledge the feelings, learn from the experience and give yourself permission to release any negative emotions or guilt. When one area of our life falls apart, new opportunities fall into place. Yeah, so when one door closes, another door opens. But in order for that to happen, you need to be able to go into this space of sitting with yourself, of sitting with the parts of you that you don't like, of being in what feels like the desert, the barren land. I think this is about being alone and maybe this taps into abandonment fears or abandonment anxiety. Are you good at being by yourself? Maybe this this keeping busy, this pushing, 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 peddling underneath the water all the time is, a, is, is avoidance of self, I would say. And then the other two cards that were on the bottom of the deck that went with New Day was the Hermit. So the Hermit is about going within. Look, you've got this light inside of you, this energy inside of you. Um, but you can only access it by going into the darkness, by going into the shadow. The hermit is also the teacher, so there's stuff for us to learn. But the hermit is also the wise one. It's about accessing our inner wisdom. So it's different to the knowledge. So are you intellectualizing your feelings? Are you learning all the things but not actually bringing them down to earth? Um, grounding them. Pentacles are earthy, grounded energy. I mean, the hermit goes up the mountain to find peace and quiet. Where do you need to go to get this kind of peace and quiet? To go within and be with yourself. I mean, journaling is a great way to do that. And then we brought the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about loving the self, loving, fully loving and accepting the self. So that's our reading today, lovely wild hearts. If you like this reading, please give it a like. And um, if you resonate and you'd like the healing then drop me a heart emoji in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this reading and where your energy's at right now. And um, I wish you a lovely day. I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.